Welcome back to Good Morning Indiana, a new school year, and parents are asking a very key question, Lauren. What am I going to do with my child? And so RTV6 is working to make sure that you have the tools and the information that you need to help your child return safely to school if that is your choice. And we do want you to know that there are a lot of options for families to choose yeah. between this year. There's traditional school, e-learning, virtual charter schools, even homeschooling, which we're learning is a very unique choice from the others. So I think what's good for parents is just simply to know that there are options. Zach and Megan Duke are living in the Center Grove School District with their three kids, Malia, Natalie, and little Judah. Zach is a missionary, Megan a stay-at-home mom and music artist. And just as faith is a common theme in Megan's music, the Dukes are relying on their faith, especially in these uncertain times. We're just trusting that God is in control, that he's going to continue to lead us and guide us. The faith just helps us to stay undisturbed in seasons of disturbance. And they're taking a leap of faith, making the choice to homeschool their children, starting with Malia, who will be in the first grade. And it's a change. Zach has had family members in the Center Grove School District since its beginning. All those who are going to the Center Grove School System, I know they're trying to figure it out. They're working really, really hard, and we want the absolute best for all the families and staff. That Supporting that community is still important while also building a homeschool community for Malia on their family farm. I'm creating just an, a learning environment and atmosphere where she can have some peers as well. But yet creating a network where there's a tutor that we can, we can have that can have the same curriculum that can help all these families. And creating a safe space. It's, it's small, you can distance easy, um, and you can also communicate with all the parents easily. Um, and this will be out on the farm, and so there's going to be, you know, they can go out and be in nature, they can play outside. Zach and Megan spent a lot of time researching homeschooling, but many parents right now may be just looking at this as an option for the first time. And maybe now they feel empowered. Some of them maybe feel pushed. Tara Bentley is the executive director for the Indiana Association of Home Educators. Since 1983, the group has helped homeschooling families get started by answering questions and providing resources and support. How many more families are contacting you compared to a normal year? We have seen such a huge spike that I don't even know that we've had time to collect all the numbers. There's um, still confusion in the age of COVID-19 as to what is homeschooling. We have legal requirements that are based on our definition, how we're classified. So it's really important that people do understand the differences. By definition, homeschooling in Indiana is non-public and non-accredited. Parents report attendance to the state and agree to provide an equivalent education, but the state cannot define that, so there's a lot of freedom. We look at what the public school is doing maybe as a template, um, but we are free to decide what that actually looks like. Bentley says that homeschooling allows parents to customize education to meet the needs of the child, but there are many challenges. Even our homeschool community is overwhelmed with how will they meet in a way that they used to. You know, we all hate the term a new normal. I would say it's not normal in any circumstance. And so you have to give yourself grace no matter what choice you make. And for Zach and Megan, being supportive of all choices is important as we navigate this coming school year. Giving grace to ourselves and grace to all the other families where we're just trying to figure this thing out. So if you are homeschooling temporarily due to COVID-19, Bentley does recommend that you try it for the entire school year so you can better get in the flow. If high schoolers want to graduate with their local school, she says you do need to be working closely with your local school district on the requirements for that. For a link to some free resources for homeschooled families, you can click on this story at theindychannel.com.